Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld, Principal Architect at Dell, and one of our leads on our OpenStack Powered Cloud Solution and uh, the Crowbar Project. Uh, I'm sitting here in our studio uh, overlooking the Boston Harbor at the OpenStack Design Summit the conference, and I'm going to quickly run through what we have been demoing at the conference, uh, which is a OpenStack deployment of Diablo plus Keystone and the dashboard using Crowbar uh, on a five node system, really a six node system, including the admin system. Uh, what you see here is uh, the tail end of a Crowbar deployment. Uh, and I have other videos showing you how to deploy the latest Crowbar bits. So going on in the background, the install is just finishing up. The admin node's coming online getting out of its, its allocated state. Uh, the install is self-allocated and then it'll go green and we move on to the next stage of the deployment. So we've completed the install. We've gotten the admin node to a ready state. So things are moving along. Uh, what I'm going to do to make the uh, install progress a little bit more uh, quickly is uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up all of the deployment nodes. It's going to take a little while. Since the last time I shot one of these videos, I've got a laptop upgrade, so a little more capacity to run a multiple VM system than I had before. So we're going to let this uh, system go and get the install running. Uh, what you'll see uh, if you were doing this on your own system is I'm going to discover all those nodes in a couple of moments uh, and you'll see them progress through. Once it's done that uh, and they're all in a holding state, I will jump back and show you what that looks like. So we've gotten the system into its uh, allocated state or pre-allocated state, I should say, which means all of the nodes are in their discovered uh, loop. They're all going to look just the same. And we're in this hold state where the nodes are waiting for some instructions on, on what to do next. The trick here is that I'm going to actually go ahead and allocate each node. Let me get that done. So to allocate, I'm going to use one of our new features, which is this bulk edit view. It's going to allow me to uh, quickly do my allocations. So from here, some other new functionality that's in the bell view. Uh, now the nodes are going to be uh, allocating. So what that looks like over here is they come out of the discovery loop and we're going to start building the operating systems. Doing it uh, this way for the, for the demo is a little bit easier because I've got uh, a whole bunch of functionality to lay down in a specific sequence. Uh, so it's going to be a little faster. Ultimately, if I, if I do a demo showing all these pieces. There's a lot of other ways to navigate through Crowbar. But for this, I'm going to keep it very simple. All right, so I'm in the last stages of getting the nodes up. You can see we're at login prompts for all of the other nodes. My last node is gone green. So at this point, I'm ready to begin uh, doing my OpenStack install. So we're going to look, uh, we'll use this 49F3 node as our master node. I'm going to use the new bar clamps view uh, so I can actually do the deployments. And for um, deploying OpenStack, sequence matters. So I need to install Glance first, which I can do. Here's my proposal. We're going to use the 49F3 server. I'm going to apply that. Uh, it's going to then go ahead and start the Glance deployment on the server. You can see it's uh, in this red flashing mode. That means it's actively provisioning Glance. Uh, make sure everything goes very smoothly. I'm going to step through the uh, deployment piece by piece. Glance is the first one to deploy. Uh, the next one after that is going to be my Keystone proposal. Not my, sorry, my Keystone. Uh, going to be my Nova proposal. So Glance is now green, so I can move on to Nova. Nova is going to take a little bit longer to, uh, to do because it it's a much more complex set of 
components and prerequisites. Switching my virtualization to uh, QMU. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead uh, and I'm going to pull out my two bottom nodes. So I'll take out these two. We'll start with just two nodes in the compute cluster. So we can experiment with adding capacity into the system. We're going to be back into Nova's now being set up and deployed. And this Nova uh, Spark Lamp is going to be fully going to be fully deployed once it's ready to go. So I'm going to come back when that's done. Okay, so Nova's completed its deployment. We're ready for that. Next thing for we need to do is add the Nova dashboard. So Nova dashboard is going to go on the same node as the Nova controller. Of course, I can change any of this around. Gridbar is very flexible. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to give you a view of a default OpenStack uh, deployment, Diablo deployment with dashboard and keystone. So this is the dashboard piece is coming in. In order for dashboard to work, I need to add in keystone. That's the auth model. So here's dashboard getting deployed. Wait a little bit while it goes through its thing. So let's jump out back over the dashboard. Here's our server. Uh, you can see we've got a couple of pieces coming in. The dashboard's here, Nova's there, uh, Glance is in. So all this all these pieces are coming to, together. Nova, the multi-controller. I choose that, that's here. If I pick one of the other machines, that's the Nova Compute. You can see it'll highlight these two machines, which are right now my compute nodes. Um, and if I go back to my controller then you'll see I have, I have a link to dashboard. I'm not quite ready for that because I haven't completed my Keystone deployment. Let's jump back to here. So dashboard is now ready and I can jump to Keystone to complete the deployment. I have some options with Keystone. Once again, we're going to put everything on this one controller node because it's just a six node demo. Apply. And let uh, the bar set up Keystone. So here's my red light. Get that set up. Okay, so what I've we've got the system up and configured six nodes. All the bar clamps are ready to go. All right, so we see all that. Then the dashboard's going to come in over here. This is the node we had for admin. And then the dashboard link is going to take us over to dashboard and show up a lovely error. Which happens, it does a lazy load of the database, so just refresh. The page. Okay. So this page was already there, so that's good. Um, so at this point, we've got the user dashboard up. I don't have any uh, instances running. Uh, the system panel is the administrative side of the dashboard, right? Yep. Okay. So the system panel has the overview. That's your some view of what cores are available aggregated across your zones okay. that you have. Then if you go to the services tab, that shows all of your pieces and their states. Okay. Now, some of this is... Um, side effects of how the dashboard has some hard-coded values, so it's not necessarily querying everything all the time. So it's got its own internal views of what you tell it a node is different than what it thinks. So this view shows what's really available versus this, which shows... More diagnostic. Well, no, it lies. It says it like has 96 oh, gig of, of RAM, right? Of which it's like, uh, so, no. Those are based upon hard-coded values. Just, it's assuming an underlying system. But if I wanted to add more capacity to the system, I only put two nodes in when I built, when I built Crowbar. So I could go back into the bar clamps, and I could come into the Nova bar clamp, edit, take my proposal right here, 
It's going to switch to the, re the editing view. And then down here, I have these two servers. So I can add in the servers I don't have, which is like the 68 server and uh, 2608 right here. So if I do that and then hit apply, it's going to throw the bar clamp back into um, working mode. Pending, yeah. Pending mode. So right, so it's there. But once that's finished, I should see that hard world start dashboard seeing that show up. Okay, and it can take a little while. But while this is going on, you can also see at a system on a system view what instances are running on this subset, okay. what flavors you've made available. So like these are the okay. things that you can set up and create your new flavors. Um, you can see the images that are actually in plants that have made available. Okay. Um, and the interesting part is this is a system view, so this is everything in Glance. If you go to the user dashboard side, you can see the actual, um, under images, it filters it to just valid images that you can run. That makes sense. So okay. there's a difference. So it's kind of a different view. So we're, and this is the image that we're including with Crowbar. Right. So, so it's Crowbar has default. this as a default image. So what would I do if I wanted to actually deploy an image? You could click launch. That's hard. Okay. And then you can choose to give the image a name, or the server a name that you're going to start up. Okay. You can choose this to be, I'm not sure of the details of what user data that is. I saw, I saw Jesse dropping a script in here that right. run it's on run, execution. So it's, okay. it's basically your startup user data that it gets injected. You okay. choose your flavor, and then um, if you have registered your key pairs down over here, over there, you okay. can then choose a key pair that will get distributed ends that you can get SSH access into the That's excellent. by okay. default. Um, there's also security groups which um, allow you to do things like this VM needs to have a certain set of, uh, of uh, TCP policies or SSH access policies or all those things are controlled by security groups. Okay. So you can create those on a different tab and then have them applied as as you start up an image. Sweet. Okay. So let's see, where's my launch button? There's launch. Okay. So it's going to go and do that, and then I'm, while we wait for that work to get done, some of the, the simpler UI, which is, is coming in. Uh, I will take a second to show the overview, which I haven't shown before. This is um, something that, that we make available in the Dell version. It's tied into how we market uh, OpenStack with our taxonomy page, but it's actually a live view. So as different components of the system are deployed, they light up. So for example, we haven't I haven't deployed Swift in this demo, so it's not lit up. Um, I haven't been flipping back and forth, but if you look at this screen, if you have the Dell version, you look at the screen, then you'd actually see us bringing pieces in um, as they get deployed in the bar clamp view. So. Uh, once again, most everything in here is is available. Uh, the only omissions uh, are the BIOS bar clamp, the RAID bar clamp, and that overview page. Everything else that you're seeing um, is available in the open source version. All right, you're done. Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, my lights stopped flashing, so now in this dashboard, I should be able to come over here, and I should see 16 cores. Yep, we're up. So and now the extra piece. in use with some. Just consumed there because your instance is now up and running. So you go to instances. Instances, not images. Instances. Here's the image instance that I have running, and then well, from my that's user the system view, and then your user view, you can see it as well. Right. So this is going to tell me I have one going, and here's my instance, uh, and then I can start doing different options. I believe VNC console is not working right that's now. Correct. We're working on that. That's that's something to do. But you can jump in and use the system. You have. It's IP address, you could register your key and, and make all that. So I will leave that part to you now that we have fully provisioned and deployed the OpenStack Diablo plus Keystone plus dashboard build. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Greg. I appreciate you jumping in and helping explain what's going on with dashboard on the video.